everyone. Welcome to your Tabata Super Set class. For equipment today, we're going to need a resistance band loop. If you have a set with different strengths, it's always nice to have options. So I have my extra light, my light, and my medium today, and I'll switch between them. Um, but if, as long as you have one that's medium, maybe on the light side of medium, you should be fine for the whole thing. In Tabata superset classes, I give you two exercises at a time and you alternate between them using an interval structure of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for eight sets. Today, we're going to do five supersets. So that's 20 minutes-ish of hit work. In between each of the five supersets, I'll give you a full minute to recover. And during that time, I'll give you a preview of the upcoming exercises. As with most hit classes I share here, there is a bunch of jumping around, but I will have low impact modifications playing on the screen. So at any time, if it gets to be too much, you can always use that modification to kind of dial down the intensity a little bit. We'll start class with a guided warm-up focused on mobility and some light cardio to gradually bring the heart rate up. And we'll finish up class with a guided cool down. We don't need our band for the warm-up. Let's start standing. And we're gonna do a side bend rotation, my favorite way to start. So right arm is gonna reach up. We're gonna side bend up and over to the left. And then staying within this side bend, we're gonna rotate. So as you exhale, you're gonna rotate your chest slightly towards the floor. And as you inhale, you're gonna rotate it slightly up. So the rotation is coming from your mid spine. So our lower spine and our pelvis staying stable. One more time. Come through your side bend and we take it over to the other side. Left arm reaches up, up, and then over to the right. Exhale, we rotate down, inhale up. One more time. Coming through your side bend and up tall, arms reach out to the side. Let's start tracing little arm circles and we just gradually make them bigger and bigger. As they get bigger, you start to circle them down and in front of your body up and around. So big circles, but without swaying around through the spine. We're gonna come back to shoulder height and we're just gonna switch direction of the circles in three, two, one. Switch direction of the circles, start small and gradually make them bigger and bigger, making sure we're not swaying through the lower back or flaring open through the front of our rib cage. You should be at your biggest circle. Arms are gonna be overhead. We're gonna do a sweep with a hip hinge in three, two, circle for one, arms up, palms forward. We're gonna slide the hips back as we sweep our arms back. We come upright as the arms come overhead. Sweep and lift. So you slide the hips back, unlocking through the knees, maintaining a long neutral spine. We'll hold the hip hinge, arms will sweep in three, two, hold the hip hinge, just the arm, sweep up and back. We'll switch the arm movement into a reverse fly, palms facing towards each other in four, three, two, one, flip the palms in towards each other, reverse fly. Retracting the shoulder blades, they're gliding in towards each other as the arms open without sinking into the lower back. Hands at heart center, stay in your hinge in three, two, one. Just bring those hands to heart center or hips if you prefer. And we're just gonna bend and press through the knees, opening up through the backs of the legs, back of the pelvis. Maintaining this nice long neutral spine. So in this hinged position, just bending and then pressing the floor away. Now you might need to widen your stance a couple inches. We're gonna move from a forward fold into a squat in three, then press for two. And once you might need to widen your stance just a little bit, start by forward folding. And then we're gonna bend through the knees, send the hips back, elongate through the spine, lift the chest here in a low squat. And then hands to the mat, forward fold, straightening through the legs. Bend, send the hips back, lift and fold. We'll come into a little combo up next. It'll be an inchworm into world's greatest stretch. One more time like this, low squat, forward fold. And then from your forward fold, I want you to walk your hands out to a plank position. Right foot steps outside, right hand, right arm twists up towards the ceiling. We reverse it back to plank. We take it over to the left. Once you're in your plank, legs straight, hips pike up. We inchworm our hands in towards our feet, forward fold. And then we inchworm back out, same deal. World's greatest ones to either side. In your plank, hips pike up. You can always have a soft bend to the knees if you're really tight to the hamstrings. Inchworm in, inchworm out, final time. 
We're gonna come into some light cardio after this. We'll keep it pretty simple today. We're gonna do cross jacks. We're gonna do a squat to a hip circle. Hip spike up and trim your hands in towards your feet, vertebrae by vertebrae. You're gonna roll it up to stand. We're gonna come into our light cardio dynamic movement section. So let's start with some cross jacks. So it's a jumping jack, the legs crisscross, the arms fly. To keep this low impact, you would step jack instead, side to side. Squat to hip circle in four, three, two, one. Squat, and then it's like you're stepping up and over something. Other side. So we'll just alternate between the, these two moves three times. And then warm up is over, and I will show you our first superset. Cross jacks in three, two, one. Back to those cross jacks. Squat to hip circle in four, three, two, one. One more each side. Cross jacks, final set. Squat to hip circle in four, three, two, one. So after this, you can grab a quick drink of water. I'll show you our first superset in three, two, one. All right, here it is. I'm going to use my medium band for this first one. To start, we are in a bare plank position. It's a row and then a hop, a row and then a hop staying on the same arm. To modify that one, instead of the hop, it would just be a pulse, hips up and down. Second exercise, similar, but we're going to be in a lunge position. It's a row, lunge hop, row, lunge hop, same arm works. To modify that one, instead of the hop, it would just be a pulse of the legs up and down. Because the modifications are so similar, you just pulse instead of hop. I'm not gonna show them on the screen, but just know you're pulsing if you gotta dial down the intensity. All right, let's go. So the band is gonna be anchored to the floor around your left palm, and then you will grip it in your right hand for the row, and then I'm just gonna put knuckles on the ground for the hop, okay? Let's find that bear plank position. So spread out through the left fingertips, tuck your toes under, knees under hips, and then again, I'm just gonna do knuckles on this right side. We come to a bear plank hover. We row on the right, we hop. We row, hop. To modify, instead of hopping, you are just pulsing the hips up and down. Draw the elbow back and up. Big stabilization job for that left shoulder. Okay, rest, come up to stand. Same position here. It's gonna be the right arm rowing, left foot is forward in a split lunge position. So you can just grip the band in both hands if you want. Row on the right, lunge hop, hop. To modify, you are pulsing instead of hopping. Rest. Okay, now we're just going to switch sides. So now we're going to anchor the band down on our right side. Left is going to row. Find your bear plank. Tuck the toes under, knees at a hover. Row on the left, hop. Come to stand, gripping that band. Now your right foot is forward, left foot is back. Arms reach forward, you're gonna row on the left and then hop. Left elbow rows back, hopper pulse. Rest, okay, halfway there. Anchor the band on your left hand, row on the right. Bear plank position. Let's go. Row on the right, hop. 
If knuckles down isn't working for you, you can have both palms down, okay? And just row like that. Come to stand. All right, arms reach forward, gripping the band, still right arm rows, left foot forward. Square the hips. Row on the right, lunge hop. Rest. Okay, final set. Anchor the band under your right, row on the left, bear plank. Let's go. Row on the left, hopper pulse. Rest, come to stand. Okay, so now your right foot is forward, both arms reach forward, still row on the left. Row with the left, hop, final 20. Rest. Okay, minute to recover. I'm gonna show you Tabata number two. I'm going extra light for this next one. We're gonna have the band around our forearms, or you could grip it in your hands or wrap it around your hands, whatever works best for you. First up, it's going to be a squat drop with a lat pulled down behind our head. Now, if you lack the shoulder mobility to get it behind your head without puffing open through the rib cage and arching into your back, that's fine, okay? Then in that case, I just want you to pull it down in front of your face instead so that we can maintain a neutral spine. To modify that, instead of jumping down to a squat and jumping back up, you would just step to a squat and up, step the other way, and I'll have that modification playing. Second exercise, we keep the band where it is. It is going to be from a plank, you're gonna to jump to a low squat, and you're just gonna lift those arms overhead, lower and back to the floor. Jump to plank, low squat, lift and lower, keeping tension on the band. To keep that one low impact, you can step, step to plank, step, step to squat, instead of jumping back and forth. All right, 20 on, 10 off, let's do it. So band is gonna go around your forearms, below the wrist, don't put it uh, directly on the joint. Um, if you would rather grip it in your hands though, that works too. We will start standing with the arms overhead. We're gonna pull apart on the band, pull it behind our head as we jump into a low squat or step into a low squat. Let's go. Drop it down and up. Maintaining a neutral spine, so stay connected to your abdominals here. Open through the chest. Woo, rest, band stays where it is. Jump to plank, low squat, lift and lower, pushing out on the band, keeping tension on it. Let's go. Rest, half back to the top. Whew. Squat drop with that lap pull. Arms overhead, pulling apart in the band. Let's go. Rest. All right, plank to low squat, lift and lower. Let's go. Keep pushing out on the band. Oh. Whew. 
Let's go. Squat drop, pull out. Squat drop, pull out and down. If pulling behind your head isn't working, pull down in front. Rest. Oh, three pushes to go. Plank to low squat. Arms lift and lower. Go. When you lift those arms, don't lift so high that you hyperextend into the lower back. So maybe those arms just lift up to eye level and back down. That's fine. Rest. All right, final set. We got this. Arms overhead. Squat drop with that pull down. Go. Rest. All right, final 20. Plank to low squat, arm raise. Go. Don't just lift the arms up, also be pulling them, pushing them gently out against that band. And done. 60 seconds to recover. Oh, I'll show you to bottom number three. I'm going to go medium with my band for this one. It's going to be around the arches of our feet. First exercise is a squat jump and then a squat to a knee drive. Squat jump, knee drive, other side. To modify that one, take out the jump and just squat, knee drive, squat, knee drive, side to side. Exercise number two, it's going to be a star jump or a sweep squat jump. So we start in a low squat position and then you jump up, you're kind of sweeping your elbows up and out to the side like a bent raise. As you abduct the legs pushing out against that band, land in your low squat. Out, get wide, land low. To modify that one, you would just alternate side to side. So it would just be tap, tap with that little sweep, okay? I'll have those modifications playing. 20 on, 10 off, to bottom number three, let's go. All right, squat jump, squat to knee drive up next. Start with some tension on the band, okay? So our feet are never so narrow that the band is loose and we're not just pushing out through the feet and letting our knees roll in. You need to think of keeping this whole outer side of your hips and legs engaged, pressing outward, okay? Let's go, squat jump, knee drive, other side. When you do the knee drive, fire through the glutes. So you're coming all the way up to stand as you pull that knee up into your hands. Rest. So we start in a semi-squat position. Again, some tension on the band, send the hips back. We're gonna jump up, pushing out. Let's go. Rest. Okay. Squat jump, knee drive. Let's go. Squat jump, knee drive. Pulling the knee into your hands, firing through the glutes and the core. Rest. This is a tough one. All right, we got those star jumps. Start in that kind of semi squat position, elbows bent. Sweep, jump everything out, land. You can always modify by either just stepping side to side or a combo, maybe step right, step left, and then do the double sweep jump. Rest halfway there. Oh boy, <laughs> we got it. Squat jump, knee drive. Let's go.
rest. Star jumps. Bend the elbows. Find that squat position, but not your deepest squat. Let's go jump, abduct, push against the band. Don't let the band bring your feet in too narrow, okay? There is still tension on the band at the bottom of this. Oh, rest. Final set. Final set, we got this. Squat jump, knee drive. I gotta psych myself up. Rest. Okay, final 20. Semi squat, push out. Let's do it. Right to the end. Done. Ay, ay, ay. Minute to recover. Show you number four. I'm gonna stick with my medium band for this one. It's gonna be around our shins, just an inch or two above the ankles. We start in a prone position in an extension, full extension, so upper and lower half, and then those legs are just pressing out against that band, some more outer hip work. To tone that one down a notch, just have your upper body down on the mat instead of up in a hover. From there, we're gonna go into a chest to floor burpee. So you press yourself up to plank from that prone position, jump your feet forward, jump up. Reverse it, lowering your chest to the floor and back up. Now, if you're gonna modify that one, because the band is around our ankles, step stepping to plank isn't gonna really work. The band's gonna uh, roll up your legs. So I just want you to do modified push-ups instead of that chest to floor burpee, and I'll have those playing. All right, 20 on, 10 off, second to last, Tabata, let's do this. Okay, band is gonna be around your lower shins. We're gonna come to a prone position. You're gonna stack one hand on top of the other, forehead on top of your hands. Legs are gonna start hips distance apart, parallel. We'll come into the extension, but to modify, instead of lifting your, lifting your upper half, just keep your forehead down on your palms, okay? Make sure you're bracing through that abdominal wall so that you stay neutral through the pelvis. I want you to reach along through the crown of your head and your feet, bring everything into that extension, and then holding in this extension, a little pulse out on the band. It's not a bounce though. I want it slow and controlled. Think out, hold, out, hold, out, hold. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Not crunching into the lower back, so brace through your core. Okay, rest. Now hands are gonna come under shoulders. Tuck your toes under. We'll press up to a plank, jump the feet forward, we go into burpees, or you're giving me modified push-ups. Let's go. Okay, come down into your prone position. Stack those hands, forehead on top, neutral through the pelvis, legs parallel, hips distance apart. Come into that extension, a little pulse out in the band. I want you to stay active through the quads. That's gonna help hold the legs straight. And you're firing through the glutes to the lift the legs, not crunching into your lower back. Ooh, rest. All right, chest to floor burpees. Hands under shoulders. Slide your shoulder blades down your back so you're open through the chest here. Tuck your toes under. Go. Push up to a plank. Jump your feet forward. Okay, prone position, stack your hands, let's go. Come into that hover, a little press out on the band. Press out, out. So we're not just active through the outer hips, 
You're active through the quads and glutes as well. That the quads and glutes are holding the legs straight and at a hover. And then the outer hips, the abductors are creating the movement out. Rest. <sighs> Open through the chest, slide the shoulder blades down your back, hands under shoulders, tuck your toes under. From this prone position, you're gonna push up into a plank, snap the feet forward. Let's go, burpees. Rest. All right, come to a prone position, final set. Neutral to the spine, brace to the abdominal wall. We reach long through the top of the head and the legs. Lift to that extension, little pulse out. Keep your forehead glued to your hands. Doesn't have to be a high lift up. Think length and then height. Rest. All right, final 20 second push. We got this burpees. Open through the chest, spread out through your hands, plant them under your shoulders. You're gonna exhale as you push up into that plank. Let's go. Jump the feet forward, burpee, jump up. Modification, just give me those modified push ups. Oh, done. Awesome work. Minute to recover. I'm gonna show you our final Tabata. We're gonna be down on the mat for our final Tabata. It's sort of a core finisher. Band is gonna be back around our arches. I'm gonna stick with my medium band. First up, you're in a high plank position. It's one plank jack, and then knee crunches into tap elbow. One plank jack, knee crunches into tap elbow. To modify that one, just don't do the plank jack. So just in a high plank position, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. I'll have that plank. Second exercise, we flip around. It's a bicycle crunch sit up. So from a hollow hold position, you exhale, come to balance behind those sitting bones. One knee crunches in, opposite elbow to opposite knee, extend it out, other side. To modify that one, just do a regular bicycle crunch, okay? So you would just be curled through the upper neck and you would go side to side from there. And I will have that playing. All right, final to bottom, then we cool it down. Let's go. Okay, band around the arches of your feet. We're gonna find our high plank position, hands under shoulders spread out through those fingers, and then you're gonna push the mat away so we're not sinking into our shoulders like that. It's very important you're pushing the mat away, stable through the shoulder cage. One plank jack, knee to elbow, or just do the knee to elbow crunches. Let's go, jack, widen in, one knee to elbow. Widen in, one knee to elbow. Rest, flip around. Bicycle crunch sit up coming up. I would actually start at the top. So roll to the back of your sitting bones, lift the legs to a hover, one leg is forward. You're in a twist and then we lower down. Exhale, twist other side. Okay, flip it around. My sweaty back starts to make farting noises on the mat during that one, so that's what you're probably gonna be hearing by the end of this one. <laughs> one jack, knee to elbow. When you do to the knee to elbow, try to get the knee to actually touch the elbow. No sweat if it doesn't, but get it as close to it as possible. All right, rest, flip it around. Roll to the back of the sitting bones. I would start at the top. One leg forward, one crunched in. Let's go. If the band is creating too much tension on your hip flexors, you can also do this one body weight. So when I come low, I'm still in an ab curl. My gaze is at the knees, rest. We're halfway there, flip it around. Press the mat away, high plank position. One jack, crunch it in.
rest, flip it around. All right, bicycle crunch setups. Roll the back of your sitting bones, but open through the chest. Hands behind head. Let's go. Hollow hold, up and twist. Woo! You can also do this with your arms reaching forward and it becomes a little easier. I want you to take that option if you find yourself pulling on your neck. Oh, rest. Final set, flip around, let's do it. So close. Let's go, Jack, crunch it in. Oh, rest, flip it around. All right, final 20. Bicycle crunch setups, 20 seconds. Then we cool down. Let's go. Ditch the band, lay all the way down. Legs stretch out, arms stretch out, full body stretch. Oh, just take a couple breaths here. Oh, so I'm gonna bring you through a quick cool down now. Let's find a figure four stretch. Right ankle can cross over left knee, hug the knee in towards your chest. And when you're ready, we'll take it over to the other side, hugging towards your chest. From here, let's take a happy baby. So you're gonna grab the outer edges of your feet. You're gonna pull those knees in towards your armpits. If this is a little too intense for your hips. You don't have to do it. it. Might feel good to rock side to side a little bit or to just hold in stillness. From here, your hands are gonna move behind your thighs. We're gonna roll up and down the spine until we gradually come up to a seated position. And from that seated position, mirror me, you can have your right knee bent, left stretches out long. Let's start with a side body stretch. So you're gonna slide left hand along your shin, right arm sweeps up and over. Maybe you grab the foot, maybe the hand just stays on your shin. Breathing into that side body. And then let's square it off. So chest towards the thigh, both hands grab either your foot or your shin, whatever works for you. We'll take it over to the other side. Left bends in, right goes long, side body stretch to start. Slide the right hand down your shin, left sweeps up. Maybe hand stays on your shin, maybe you grab your foot. We're gonna square it off from here. So rotate chest towards your thigh, both hands to the foot or the shin. Let's finish by coming to a comfortable seated position. One breath together, we inhale, we reach the arms up. We exhale, release. And that is your class. Awesome job. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts here every week for free. And then in addition, I have a Patreon option. Patreon is $9.99 a month. And with that, you get access to a ton more workout classes, plus a monthly workout calendar. Plus I do monthly Q and A's where I answer any questions you have. I take workout video requests. It's really awesome. And it helps support this channel. All right. Thank you guys for the support. I will see you next time.